hey everyone welcome back and this is second part of our password generator and in this we are going to make the javascript and the logic part so i will start with making javascript file index.js i have linked the javascript file to my html page and now i will just take all the elements using their id so i will just take all the elements it is text area copy button the check boxes all the check boxes and the last one generate button and length item also length element also so i will write let clipboard document dot get element by id and copy to clipboard which is the id of clipboard so here you have to take all the elements this is the process uh, so that you can uh, manipulate it using javascript so i will take length taker this length taker is taking the length whatever we have specified in the length element it is an input element by the way so like this i will take all the elements the uppercase the uppercase will also be taken using its id its id is uppercase if you remember i have given in the first video lowercase number i will just again copy it down and it will be symbol so i will just write in here also symbols numbers you have to remember its name and actually you need to remember the s also whether it is symbols or symbol because we will be using it many times sometimes it will it may be symbol or sometimes it may be symbols uh, i will take the button generate password button using its id generate password and that's it uh, these all elements we have been taking and now i will uh, create the generator functions generator function will generate random uppercase and random lowercase random numbers random symbols these values these functions will generate so how i will make it is i will write function generate upper it will be i will just return a string from char code this is the function this will return the character codes of the particular numbers so i will write math.float math.random it will generate random numbers i will multiply it by 26 so that we have 26 alphabets in so i will add plus 65 because uh, the character codes of capital uppercase starts from 65 so yeah we are adding this i will repeat these uh, things two three four more times so that i can just generate lower and generate number same thing 97 because here i will add 97 because lower case starts from 97 that's it it's simple logic and for the numbers i will write math.floor math.random math.floor functions uh, returns the floor value means if the random number is 1.65 it will return one so like that and last one will be symbols so for symbol we have a different technique for symbol we will create an array of symbols this symbol is different from the upper symbol that we have taken that is symbol is element and this symbol is an array and it is having scope of this function only not the global scope so some way random symbols i have given in the array and i will return from symbols dot symbols array sorry I will return from the symbols array. I will give math dot lower, math dot random, and I will multiply it by symbols dot length so that it will generate an integer, not a decimal. Or actually, math dot random generates the number between zero and one. So I have to multiply it so that it becomes more than one. So that is for the generator functions. The next thing will be I will making a generate func object this object will consist of keys and values the values will be the generate upper the generate lower these generator functions will be the values that will they will return and it will be stored in this object the upper lower the keys these key will be, these keys will store this value so simple logic not difficult that's it and next thing i will add event listener to this button because whenever we will click this button we should get the password so i will write generate password dot add event listener 
you will click event listener and here I will just take all the elements so let length taker equals to length taker dot value length equals to length taker dot value I will take length I wanted to convert it into the number form so I will just add plus sign we'll take let upper equals let uppercase dot checked checked means it will return a boolean value that means true or false so has upper will contain true or false so i will write it here it will return true or false it means uh, has upper means is upper checked or not simple so same way i will just give lower case numbers and symbols has upper means is there any upper or not has lower means is there any lower or not symbols so same way we have to give we have to check it out because if it is unchecked we don't want to give it in the password so i will now give it all these value to the one function named generate i will create this function now still now it is not there i will give all these values so has upper has lower has number has symbol and the last one will be length so this function will help us to generate the password i will create this function don't take tension of it i will just give uh, this function will return a password which will be stored in text area so i have to yeah i have to take the text area also i need to take the text area using its id that's it this is the text area where our password will be displayed and text area dot value will contain dot value will contain this password whichever password will be returned by the generate function so i need to make this function again and i have just writing that when someone clicks on generate password button this event listener will run now i am creating the function generate and it will have it will take all these variables so i'm just writing the variables upper lower number length symbol and then length the five variables it will takes it will take and now using this i will just create a password an empty array of password empty string sorry not an empty array now i will just give i will just count the types so i will give a variable count type and it will add up on all this upper plus lower it means i am just counting how many types are there and after that because we should know how many types are there in our password after that i will make an array of type this array will filter out whichever types is not there so i will just write array type it will consist of an array so i'm writing here now i have to filter out whichever type is not there so yeah whichever user is unchecked i am just writing so that you can give you have the information for it i'm writing it in a curly basis so as it will be as in the form of object upper lower symbol and first now uh, yeah i have to write the number before the symbol dot filter this, this is the method to filter out all this whichever type is not there means if there is no symbol it will filter out the symbol then the password will not contain symbol so item dot object dot values we will make an arrow function of item dot object dot value item i will just give the index 0 and this will filter out whichever type is not there simple and next thing will be a for loop sorry uh, if condition if count type is equals to zero means uh, if the user is not checked any of the boxes so i will just return an empty string uh, makes sense actually because if the user hasn't selected anything so what can be the password then and 
if uh, if user has clicked any of these boxes for that i will just make a for loop i will iterate it till the length so that the password will contain will be of the length and it will be iterated for particular count type count type means it will be iterated for particular object you will understand when i will write this so array type dot for each type it will have this is the for each loop for array type in this particular loop so it will have const generate func name equals object object dot keys and it will have type it means that i am just uh, getting the values from this object the generate func object and then yeah i will write it here this syntax will take so i'm just writing here so that you can understand where we'll see the code the syntax will take the upper lower symbol and number so i'm just giving it to the password simple to so i will write password plus equals it will be added generate i will write plus equals not plus equals only generate func the object and generate func name simple so it will just get the keys over it so generate func is an object whose key is generate func name i will call it as a function and then i will return password simple so just checking i am just giving the length as three so something is error here in our code actually yeah actually i have done a simple spelling mistake not a big error in the when i was calling the generate function in my add event listener i have not taken the correct actually the text area was not correct the spelling was not correct of text area so that's it yeah the password is generating but uh, the length of this password is more than what we specified so that's something we need to fix so i will just console.log password for it in our console so i will again generate it for it will have a length of 4 only so what's the problem going on is the length that we specified is not uh, actually giving us the correct length password means if we are specifying 3 it is giving us more than 3 or something like that so for that actually why why this happening is because we are iterating the loop for particular count type and if the count type is more than 1 that means it will yeah the actually the count type is 4 if the user doesn't uncheck any of the boxes means it will be more than 1 or 1 so if it will be 1 the password will give the correct length but it is more than 1 so for if we specify the length 1 when then the password will be of 4 length means it will be iterating for all four count types so i need to correct it so for fixing it i will just making a final password variable which will which will be an empty string and after that i will taking a for loop again which will be running till length only and this password will be the main password that will be returning to the event listener so i will write let final equal to i will just take a random match dot floor match dot random from the password actually i need to take it from the password password is an array as uh, sorry string so i will write match dot floor match dot random this method is familiar to because we have created generator function using this only password dot length so this will return a particular number symbols or object so i need to write it as for loop sorry and 
and the last thing will be I will write final password plus equals final this means it will be giving uh, it will be getting adding on in the final password till the loop will be running so I will just console dot log final password oh sorry final password and return the pa final password console dot log for that we can see so I'm just checking now oh that is an error actually uh, <laughs> I have to write console dot log not clog yeah that's it now I'll reload the page and giving the length seven. yeah the length is same just see Le length 2 length 4 that's yeah the password is coming correct so yeah guys look at these uh, we have created I will just uncheck some of the boxes length 4 yeah it is coming correct so that's it for today guys yeah and no actually yeah I forgot one thing the copy to clipboard functionality is also there so when someone clicks the copy button we have to copy that password to clipboard how we will do it we will create add event lister on clipboard and I will just create a variable text area text it will be named as text and it will be create element text area so uh, we will create a text area this is the process you need to follow these steps because this is the way how you can copy the password to the clipboard so I will just name pass equals to text area dot value this pass will contain the original password because text area the value contains it and then I will just write text dot value equals pass simple so this password will be in the text area which is named as text I will write document dot body dot append child text this will this will be appended as child in the body and then I will just write text dot select this is the command I will select all the uh, the text in the text area and document dot exec command copy this is the command we need to execute and that's it I will just remove the text area and lastly I will just make an alert that your password has been copied because you have the user should come to know whether the password is copied or not yeah that's it so I will just generate a random password and then copy yeah it is seen the alert is there I will show the sample whether the password is copied or not just pasting it yeah look at this another random password again copying again co going to notepad and just pasting it yeah so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel thank you